is what we call hater shit. There is no better term. Um, you know me. If you know me, you know me. If you know, you know. You know, so. <laughs> just had a reaction. She had, just had a reaction. <laughs> Come on, baby, you're so <laughs> Come on. You just had a reaction? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know why. I could just watch that. Okay. July 15, 2024, at 9.16 a.m. Applications, besides resume sends via LinkedIn, Whole Foods, here's the July, Starbucks, Northwestern, girl, you listen to us too much. Why don't you listen and actually do something instead of like trying to combat with your little words? Actually apply to Whole Foods and Starbucks and Northwestern. Everybody tells you to keep going back to Northwestern if they love you so much. You know damn well you didn't apply to Northwestern. If you did, they don't love you. Two MA jobs, one on the northwest side, Portage Park, and the other at the downtown location, Target. It says, look back and thank God. Look forward and trust God. Heather says, praying for me, my children, and the entire family of supporters that peace, abundance, happiness, and all the amazing parts of life come to us now. What? July 16, 2024, 6.29 a.m. Sponsors, please help us. My cash app has been disabled or hacked again. I have documented this since 2020. Every time there is a solution, only a few weeks or months into it, they switch up what was promised and literally put us out. Y'all... And there's people out walking around. It's pretty much daylight. And y'all are sitting in front of a nice ass door. Isn't it? Or is it a restaurant? Either way. They just camped out. And it's not very nice. Like do y'all see all the shit they brought? Literally right in front of the doors. And then they want to leave. Do you know how awkward that would be? Walk to, to walk and unlock the doors to your store. And you have to deal with these homeless people right in fucking front of right? No. Breast milk for the garbage, more breast milk for the trash. I thought that was a Stanley Cup for a second. I was about to say, how in the world? That better be a bobo. How can a woman with four children, including a five-month-old son, Stop. Is this what y'all are passing around? And is this a... Li this is laminated? Is this laminated? Y'all are pass... Oh, goodness gracious. How can a woman with four children, including a five-month-old son that she's breast pumping for, with no criminal record, no drug addiction, no alcohol abuse, college educated, be sleeping right here? Heather says... Good morning. Oh my gosh, you don't write to God. You pray to God. Why would you type to God? You're not, this isn't for God. This is for other people. This makes me so infuriating. People have no idea. Some people do, but like, stop. Like, whenever she was pretending to pray, I, I wish I would walk past her and I would slap the shit out of her while she was on her knees. Sorry, God. Not a very good, nice Christian thing to say, but I get very protective. Okay, I can't even say his name because I feel like it's I'm saying it in vain right now. Okay, good morning. It's me, Heather Gillespie. I'm so, God knows who you are. <laughs> I've been through hell and back. You promise. You do know that hell is literally a place, right? I'm trying not to break everything down. I'm really not trying to break everything down. But how are you going to say, God, I've been through hell and back? Like, 
You haven't been to hell. You want to go through it? You would. You better be careful. All right, let me hurry up. Try this again. I'm going to try not to commentate. Good morning, God. It's me, Heather Gillespie. I've been through hell and back. You promised my family and I vindication. My children have been immorally, unlawfully, and unconstitutionally separated from me and each other since 2020. My five-month-old infant has been apart from me since three days after his birth, and I only get to see him to breastfeed three days per week. I have submitted all of the character witnesses, truthful medical records, and testimony of the only people with any knowledge of the situation. I have submitted the brief that I have called 311 and requested housing formally too many times to keep track of. I have sent too many resumes to keep track of. I have applied to so many jobs to keep track of. When will my family be restored? When will I be back with my children, living in my own space, and supporting my babies? How many years can this cruel and torturous situation go on? I have never been convicted of a crime, nor have I ever had drug or alcohol issues. I have worked since I was a young girl, requiring a work permit to obtain my first job in a pizza place and then at a movie theater. I've worked for more than 10 years in various healthcare-related capacities. I put myself through school for healthcare admin and clinical medical assisting programs. I took personal trainer courses. I taught myself Spanish. I worked two, sometimes three jobs and hustled on the side selling accessories like glasses or used clothing or flips for a profit. I have advocated for the oppressed as well as for the wealthy. I have taken my perspective and expanded it to include people, places, and things that under normal circumstances I would never know or need to know so that I could be a better, nicer, kinder, more compassionate human being. Tuesday, July 9th, 2024, I was put out of the shelter at 100 East Chestnut, Tremont, after being promised I would never be put into the street again. I have 311 daily since that day with no assistance being provided that some way that I did my entire pregnancy, Heather Gillespie, VLAW, I'm not going to say VLAW because you're stupid. I feel like he looks like her a lot. Oh no, Xavier has an abscess, 3.03 p.m., ouch. 10.25 p.m., July 16th, 2024, Xavier on IV. Okay, so I only have one serving of breast milk plus whatever I feed him today because we don't have a, a space or a refrigerator to cool it, uh, to keep it cold. She's in the doctor's office. She's in the hospital stuff. However, they did give me a big thing of ice that I'm going to transport this one in. So he has whatever I feed him from my actual wow. body today, plus one more serving. And then tomorrow and Friday, he'll also have... She has her shoes off. She's either at the... Ho what is, is she at the hospital? She's making herself a home wherever she's at in-person feedings so Ew. four four feedings a week no. of breast milk is oh much better than none you know yeah. so housing can come at any time shelter can come at any time sponsors please look alive we really need assistance right now um we were lied to we were promised that within six months we would receive our apartment or townhome and after four and a half months they said they were closing the shelter doors so uh please you guys any assistance would be very much appreciated Oh my god. If we're not hot, we are hot though. We are hot though. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at her stroller, her big old suitcase. Ah. <sighs> oh my god. Can you just put your boob away for a minute? Cover it up. Let us to see the baby. So I just did an entire live about this. Six in the morning. Thursday, July 18th, I believe. Um, trying to put my phone down yeah, somewhere so that I can show out. you guys Let's what's get this going together. on. Dude, how are they still sitting in the same spot? Girl, move. I just did an entire live broadcast. If you guys know my one Heather G-E-E, -E, that when you spell out the letter one, O-N-E account where I was doing live FTRs, I called them for the records of me every single day <laughs> sitting out in public with I call them for the records 
<laughs> Xavier's like, okay, okay, I'm on camera. Be a good boy. He's rocking back and forth. People passing by explaining the fact that I have been violated in a number of ways, including sexual assault, <laughs> unlawful detainment, being bludgeoned with a tire iron, being jumped and stabbed by three women. With I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt you, Heather, but is that a jean jacket you're wearing, Xavier? I like it. That's a nice jean jacket there, Xavier. Um, I don't see how you're not too hot in that, but cute with his little booty shorts. Through drivers, um, all of this since 2000 and June of 2019. So it's been five years. It's been a little right over now? five oh, years. Oh, I gosh. said on my previous live that it was just under five years. It's actually been five years. I, I just want to show everyone that I am still lactating. We don't care. I so am disgusting. pumping breast milk for you, my five month old. Let, let me say, let me say, I am not immature. I've had three babies. I've breastfed all three of them. I am, it's not you. I'm not, don't mean it like that. But I don't want to see Heather's crap. I don't even really want to call it milk. Just slushing around in front of my freaking face. That is gross. Heather's outings from her tatas is gross son Weston who didn't even exist when all of this began in 2019. It didn't even exist. In 2019 I was living in my own home the primary custodial parent for my three children my 10 year old my um, 16 and 17 year old they are now at that time they were six uh, 13 and 14. They've lived with me primarily their entire lives. In 2020 um, I was, so 2019 was the first attack, then my apartment began being flooded, my belongings began being stolen, uh, my vehicle was stolen, a Cadillac CTS that I paid for in full through uh, a, an auto loan process with Capital One. Um, no scamming, none at all. Every dollar that I made was through working. Every dollar that I made was through working. If you have to keep, re if you have to keep that. I made my money. I did not scam. I did, I did not I did not get that money by scamming. I am not a scammer. Why would you need to say that unless you're fucking a scammer? I don't understand why people do that. Do y'all not realize what y'all are doing whenever y'all say that? I was not scamming in any way, shape, or form. Every dollar I made was through working. I am not a scam artist. I am not a con artist. I have never been. If you've seen me around them, it's because they have forced me. Law enforcement has put me in a position to be around those people for their own benefit. Please hear me clearly. I don't know how to... I'm sorry. Oh, hey. Ew, you look so creepy, Xavier. Why do I keep thinking Xavier has a zip tie or shoestring? holding his hair up. Can y'all please confirm? Scam. I don't know the PayPal scams. I just know that they exist. Ooh, Xavier look messed up. Do y'all see his eyes? And you look a little scabby still. I'm sorry. I'm really not being judgmental. I'm not. This is, I'm just, I'm being very honest here. And y'all do not look very good. I feel like I'm repeatedly being punished because they want me to divulge more information that I that I can't. Look at his I, don't, eyes. I don't know. I don't know how they do what they do. I don't know. Look at his hair. If you ask me who's done it, I don't know that either. What do you want me to say? A bunch of guys who could be faking a Nigerian accent, or maybe it's real, with sunglasses on and black skin. Like, black how skin. is that going to be helpful to you in any way? You know, I'm tired of, of providing this information to them, being forced with their foot on my neck to provide this information to them. And then it's like, I can't possibly give enough. They've taken everything I have and I cannot possibly give enough. I was Okay, maybe it was just a claw clip. That looks funny. Heather, are we about to fake cry? She couldn't say, <laughs> she was trying to say, repeat, what, what was it, she was tired of repeating herself, and she couldn't get it out. <laughs> but girl, we're tired of you, we are tired of hearing you repeat your damn self. Threatened by this cop, this cop, David Shepard, detective, oh. in 2016 told me, if you do not continue to hang out with this group of people and call and text me every single day, I will be back and I will take your children from you. I have no criminal record, none. I reported it, it went to internal affairs. I won the case in 2017. He was supposed to stop harassing me. They were supposed to send another officer. They had a line into my phone. They still do, I'm sure. 
on a recorded line. I was coerced, forced into sex work. You, oh. I'm a healthcare administrative professional. <sighs> That's what I do. I have an education. I worked for 10 years. You haven't done that. When was the last time you've done that, Heather? That's like me saying, I'm a pharmacy technician. Because at one point, I used to be a pharmacy tech inside of a hospital. That doesn't mean I'm currently a pharmacy tech right now. Get over it, dude. That's not what you are. You're homeless. You are kidless. That, that's what you are. In various healthcare fields, all of a sudden, I find myself literally being threatened to be separated from my children or go on dates with men, including detectives and, and members of law enforcement. I'm sorry, please, I wasn't listening. I hope she didn't say still to this day because if she's about to claim that, we might have a Leticia thing going on. You, sh you need to be careful. All, all these allegations. I don't know how she hasn't gotten in trouble with David Shepard unless she's actually telling the truth about that. I, I, I don't fucking know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to make my opinions about what I think about him. But what Heather, you you going to stop sitting here and claiming people are doing shit if they're not doing it because it's about to catch up on you. They call it fucking up. Fucking up. Meaning there are times that people set up the people underneath them who are like lower in life than they are, less money, less class, less uh, socioeconomic status. And then there are times when they fuck up, when people from higher up help the people who are getting fucked start fucking back. Okay, let's stop fucking talking about motherfucking fuck. Fucking shit. Dang. Look at Xavier's nails. I just wanted to point out that he painted his nails as well, but he did go with a different color. Kind of like his better, but just not on a man. Just my opinion. And that's the position they put me in with no criminal record at all whatsoever. When they say kill people, they mean trick on them set them up and get power and control over them for information that they know Ooh, i don't think that's true because that's why would you say kill them i'm just talking too much today why would you say kill them someone would be like okay bet and they'll kill them motherfuckers and then they'd be like no i didn't mean actually kill them and it's like what you said kill them what what words do you use to kill then can you answer me that heather because now i'm really invested What's the code word for kill? If you say, hey, go kill them, but it doesn't really mean actually unalive them, what's the word for actually unaliving someone? Since you're so smart and everything, <laughs> you just know everything. About them, they don't mean put a gun to their head and kill them. They mean, well, sometimes they might, but see, that's not see, the context. No, that is mixed communication. You can't do that. That is, you don't just fuck up like that. That is like literally life and death. So stop sitting here thinking that this word means this and this word means this. This is a code for this. That's not true. I don't know how many, how many, who? Give me one instance where someone says, go kill so and so. And then they go and do something to so-and-so, but they don't actually kill them because they know they meant something else besides killing. Most of the time. Xavier and I, I met Xavier only two years ago after two years oh. of being um, outside homeless, raped, robbed, beaten, and abused. It's like I get three months of peace and then all of a sudden, and I use the term peace very, 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 very generously because during those three months of living indoors, I, I have been psychologically manipulated <laughs> xavier's like i'm just gonna sit here and eat my food i have to hear this all the time i'm so curious what she talks about whenever they're not on the camera you know they're definitely way more honest because she's pretty calculated but it is funny to watch her spiral after you've done so many evil things other faded antagonized someone from the apartment next to mine when I lived at Montclair. <gasps> yes, please talk about this. Bring back the old days. Let's go. Would say to me, do you ever want to see your family again? I've got them all in an apartment on the sixth floor. Go up there and try to see which apartment it is. <laughs> and then if, if you bust down six of me, uh, me and six of my friends, uh, maybe I'll let you see your family again. <laughs> this is real. And I've reported this to law enforcement a number of times. I have been forced to walk around outside for two or three days at a time with nowhere to go so that I could collapse to the ground in exhaustion and be raped. I've reported this to law enforcement. No one has helped me. Um, 
there used to only be three children. Now there are four. Weston was born in 2024, February of this year. Following over a year of me being displaced from my home, calling for assistance regularly, calling the police all the time. All the time. Um, you know, giving them information on what was going on and where and why and with who. Begging for assistance and being blatantly denied, which is my right in this country. Housing is a right in this country. Assistance is a right in this country. The freedom to live in a space where you are not tortured, slandered, libeled, harassed, and stalked. Those are rights in this country. The United States of America, those are my rights as a human being. Then Xavier got me pregnant in 2022 with twins. They passed away at 18 weeks. I lost my job at Gatier. I was paying for our Look at Xavier. He's, I'm very disappointed in you. I've been disappointed in you, like, the second day I freaking seen you on video. Like, you are really doing bad, Xavier. You were doing so much better without Heather. I mean, not that I know, but... Y'all suck. Y'all actually probably are made for each other. Y'all are just, y'all are making people's lives hell. Y'all might as well just make each other's fucking lives hell. Like, I can't stand y'all. Look at look at you, Xavier. You can't even open up your eyes. You're. I wish I could slap him so much. I wish I could slap him. You dirty perverted son of a gun. You're nasty. What the fuck are you wearing? You're wearing little biker shorts that are probably shorter than my shorts. You're wearing a flannel fucking shirt. What is it? In July? The middle of July? And then you want to wear a cute jean jacket that's probably... I could wear it better than you. I mean, fuck. Why are, we, why are you wearing a flannel shirt and then a jacket over on top? And then you got your hair all flipped over with your claw clip. Oh, I can't with you. You're disgusting. You had the chance to get clean, and I think he did. I think he did get clean for a little bit, and then he fuck. I, I really think he has withdrawn. He's done. He's done. It, being clean's not for him. He is made for the streets, the crazy streets, not the hood streets. He is a bitch. He's going to be treated like a bitch because that's what he is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I can't stand him. And you had a kid, and you, as much as I did not want him to be around that baby, I'm, it infuriates me how quickly he'll go back to drugs. And that this is what they think about the baby. Like, so fuck both of y'all. I've never quite understood. I mean, a birds of a fe feather flock together, I guess. But I've, it's crazy to me whenever you have a piece of shit of a mom and a piece of shit of a dad. So that poor baby, honestly, he's better off without y'all, both of y'all. But it's disgusting how y'all won't do anything for any of the kids. Like, y'all are sick. And you, Xavier, just sitting there, just high as fuck, can't even open up your eyes. You're disgusting. Airbnb. Every single time that something takes place, they just throw us into the, into the street like trash. Just throw us right in the street trash. like trash. I am not offering free, uh, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, surveillance. They might be taking it from me, though, you which would be human trafficking free. under the United States Constitution. I've taken some entry-level AI classes with regards to deep fakes and deep fake technology. Um, Photoshop and Photoshop is really like the 1999 version of what's going on today with green screens and the ability to change the surroundings and the way a person looks and sounds, etc. and so forth. Stop rocking back and forth. I have both four crazy. children now. Weston was born in February. My entire pregnancy, I was calling for assistance through 311, through the police station, through the hospital systems. I would. And she would not get the help. They told her, okay, we are picking you up. And she would not go because she had a curfew. They had drug tests. She couldn't take all her fucking belongings. She wanted a straight up apartment. Hence why she stayed at the fucking hotel shelter the longest. Gosh. How much? How many? Like over and over and over and over and over again we go.
is being provided no assistance. We got into shelter only after I gave birth to Weston and we were promised that we would spend six months in the shelter system and then from there we would be given a townhome or an apartment. After four months, we were told the shelter was closing its doors and thrown out doors, but the shelter is still open. We're only a few blocks away from the shelter we were we had to leave. So we have absolutely no um, reason to be to be outside. There's no, no, no legal no, reason. No, On top of that, they've disabled my Cash App account so that I cannot receive donations. I am a lactating Ew, mother. Of- uh, stop. That's what, stop. That's what you define yourself as, as a lactating mother. First of all, no one wants you to lactate. And second of all, you're not a mother. Four children. Four children. I have in, been named by the court system in the United States of America as oh. the primary custodial parent of my older three children. Custody has yet to be determined of my younger son, Weston. I should be. I have parental rights in yet the United States of, of America. I've done nothing to deserve to not have access to parental rights in this country. Yet for some reason, here we are. Until now, transportation has been provided. Every single week, we go to see our son three times a week for two hours Wednesday, two hours Thursday, two hours Friday. And then we come back and I sit in my room like a nun. I go to sleep by 8 or 9 p.m. I don't go out. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't drug. I talk to my children and that's it. And I mind my own business. I scheduled an appointment for a physical with my primary care physician for last Saturday. Tuesday, four days before the, the appointment, they put us out into the street. Have you ever had gone to your doctor to have a pap smear? After being sitting outside in the street for a ew, week with no shower, ew, that's gross. What about conveniently being uh, taken your your transportation being taken away right before you have a, a physical schedule? I would have convenient done my shit for them, right? To do. Every week, they're mandated <laughs> by the court to provide this transportation to us. There is a court order that says they must provide the transportation. Yet here we are. Yes, here we are. <laughs> Do you know what happens if the court orders me to take a drug test and I refuse? Oh my goodness gracious. Yet these people are blatantly permitted to engage in torturous behaviors against a mother and many others. And I said this on my last live, there are not a bunch of Heathers walking around homeless in the street. Hell no. Hell There's no. none. I've never met a woman who is a mother of four children with custody from a court walking around with no housing assistance or, or shelter assistance. I've never met one. Okay, I never met one. I never met one. Um, but there are a lot of girls out there who have kids and um, they are actually a lot, a lot like you. I don't... What makes you any different than anybody else? I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be real. I'm just trying to get right down to it. You're not a complete druggie? That kind of makes it worse, almost, because I'll give those people, but if they doubt, get clean. Maybe they'll get, you know. Yet I have open tickets to 311 as I have my entire pregnancy, and still no one has assisted in any way. No one. This shelter said that they tried to offer Xavier and I, or tried to get Xavier and I into a, a shelter. They did. I have the email, the email link, and I have all of the calls. We call this supposed shelter, and they tell us, no, this is not a shelter. This is a treatment facility for people with severe addictions. You're not allowed to come and go as you please. Y'all are addicted to shit. There man. is no curfew. You can't go outside. Once you're in, you're in. And you can't live with your significant other. You can't eat meals with with your significant other. You can't speak with your significant other in the common spaces. And you're not allowed to go outside. So you can't even go take a walk to the park. And it's not for you. If you don't have an active addiction, it's not for you. It's a treatment center. And I emailed back and I said, you people are malicious and you're slanderous. I emailed to the people, (laughs) the city representatives who tried to get us to go there. I said, "This this is you helping us? This is you helping us, inventing some sort of disorder that we don't have 
to try to put us in some sort of lockdown that we don't need? Let me ask you this. When we had we the, the space, the indoor thing. space where we just came from, did we even receive a single re reprimand? No, we did not. And they have a write-up system there. Ugh. So if you do something wrong, you get written up. We were not written up a single, not once. We did not get written up once. Not once. No reprimands. So we follow all the rules. We live life like nuns. We engage with no one negative. We don't do any drugs. We don't drink any alcohol. We follow it. We follow up with all of our services. Five straight months of doing every single thing that we're supposed to do. No questions asked. And we're still right here. In the same space we were when I was pregnant with my son. Crying, saying, my body is in so much physical pain, I cannot take it anymore. My pelvis feels like it's being ripped open. Please help us. <sighs> And they looked at us every fucking day, and they ignored us every fucking day. <laughs> In the United States of America. He's like this bitch. <laughs> you look like I crazy need to be indoors. Fucking. I deserve to be indoors. I deserve to have an income. Yeah. I'm not here to speak on any other subject than that. I have the education. I have the experience. I have 10 years experience working in healthcare administration. I just woke up in this location a few moments ago. Okay. Pumped my breast milk. Xavier has an ab abscess tooth. We spent one night in the hospital, him receiving intravenous antibiotics, IV antibiotics for a swollen, infected abscess tooth that he had on the left side. We spent one night at Northwestern Hospital and then we had to go. They were they received they gave him a Did referral to Cook County to have the tooth pulled and he's <laughs> refusing to go. I can't force him to go, you know? And I also can't force him to do the things that that I need him to do. So I'm I'm stuck in the space of do I run away from Xavier, the father of my child? We have all of our services together, our visits with our son together. All right, now it's time that we get to look at Xavier's face while she's clearly just sitting here about to talk shit about him. You are abusive, ma'am. You are abusive and cruel. Do I run away from him and then what? Sleep on the ground by myself with no one there to have my back? Or do I stay here and allow his blatant disregard for human perception to continue to skew the way people walking by look at me and their willingness or ability to assist us in any way. So you're using him? If he's willing to sit w with piles of old food garbage and I'm begging him not to and that is enough to instigate him into an argument with me, am I wrong? What do I do? Right now you're Where do I go? Wrong. There aren't, there is no one who's offering us assistance. We've asked, to say that I've asked more than 20,000 like, people for help would high. be an understatement. Do you understand me? An understatement. I had 17.2 thousand followers. 17.2 thousand followers on the one Heather GEE page, not the number one. That one is still up. The one Heather GEE page from 2020 when all this started, that one's still up. The number one Heather GEE. You can go check it out. I created a secondary page where I spelled out the name zero uh, um, O N E Heather GEE. <laughs> I spelled it out one Heather G. And I literally went live every single day saying, please help us. We've been denied shelter assistance. We've called 311. I went live calling 311 from another phone while you guys all watched, showing you all How we are being you? denied assistance. When I call 311, they say, there's a lot of people oh, who need help right here. now, ma'am. What ma the fuck are you yeah, doing, sir? there are. Are any of them mothers of four children Why is he who have been paying taxes family? in this country since they were 14 years old i don't think they're all all right i'm sorry i know i know heather you just want people to listen to you and i'm getting distracted by xavier so i don't know what the point of this live is it's not getting nothing done besides i guess venting um oh lord look at his feet bless it why are your feet so dirty sir So, I, he keeps touching his, like, I guess his thyroid glands or the side of his neck with his fingernail polished nails. And he's touching the right side first. So, but the tooth was on the left side. So, I'm wondering if it's spreading or I wonder if it goes, if it, 
I wonder if it eventually will go to both sides. But he's so messed up. Like, I hate this live, and I really can't stand y'all. But I'm glad y'all did this so everybody in your case can see this. And Xavier, oh, Lord, you are so messed up, dude. I don't know what you're on because I've probably never tried it in my life. I have no idea what you're on, but he's fucked up. So, yes, I do think that my situation and my case should receive priority over that of, of course older he single be men who have yes. been living outdoors for 10, 15 years, using drugs and alcohol, partying it up, have their social groups out here. 100%, I believe my situation should receive priority over those situation circumstances and events. Absolutely, I do. Yeah, take time to swallow, bitch. He's like, Damn. Do I have the capacity to be a good parent? Obviously. No. You don't need to be Einstein. You can literally <laughs> see me with my child. Xavier looked her up and down like, uh, bitch, no. <laughs> obviously. Bitch, obviously not. What you talking about? I'm sorry. I got to take that one back. Do I have the capacity to be a good parent? Obviously. You don't need to be Einstein. <laughs> you can literally see me with my child or engage in conversation with me. Clearly, I'm a phenomenal mother. Clearly, duh. Clearly. duh. Have I lost my temper in my 17? <laughs> Have I lost my temper? Boo, you, boo. you lose your temper every single motherfucking day. And do I think you lost your temper on your kids? Yes, I do. I see it. I see you lose your temper with Xavier. And I 100, I, I believe, I have... Okay, 99.9% .9 of me firmly believes you are abusive in different various ways to everybody. Whether it's verbally, emotionally, mentally, physically. Yes, you are abusive to everyone, Heather. Years of being a mother? Yeah, I have. I'm a human, not a robot. Name me one mother in the world who has not lost her temper. Have I ever beaten up or abused my children? Never, yeah, not once. Uh, ever. Have I spanked my child? Sure. You know, I've swatted at my child when they were two, three years old. Who has it? I'm sure. So go we continue to go through this redundant cycle of abuse where I prove repeatedly who I am, what matters to me, what is my purpose in life, what laws am I entitled to, where are all of the rest of the women mothers who are being thrown into the street unlawfully? Where are all of the rest of women who care about fitness and health and wellness, who have ed who have invested into their education? I didn't invest into my education through some sugar daddy or sponsor paying my way. My parents didn't pay for my education. I got it from the mud, literally, on literally. my own. That's being abandoned in a third world means. country at 14 years old, all the way to being a mother, full-time student, enrolled in high school, enrolled in college, enrolled in a full-time employee with three babies. Stop lying. You're confusing yourself. I should not be right here on this ground right now. I should not be right here. That you are. And I don't know what it's going to take to prove that I have been filing with the with the with the um oh what is that thing called what's the district attorney not ADA. i've been filing with the district attorney i've been filing with the department of justice i've been filing with the state's attorneys i've been filing with the o not o not ojd odj o doj thank you um that person's like, there, there is no one, you know, that I have not been filing with, with local law enforcement. Uh, I've been filing with everyone, you guys. I'm not a con artist. I don't do fraud. To be honest, you're if you really want to know, if it. someone came up to me right now and said, hey, Heather, uh, we're the only way that you're going to be able to get out of this situation is if you start engaging in a bunch of fraud. Bullshit. And then I said no. And they said, or we're going to rape you. Have you. Can you guys imagine being there, being in a situation where you're, you're going to be forced to sit on a sidewalk? separated from your family and children and the people you love or engage in illegal activity and be raped can you imagine and reporting that to law enforcement with proof you with videos with Please. audio and them saying well that we can't use the audio because deep fake technology 
So they're using deep fake technology against me to, to slander me, the woman being assaulted, thrown into the fucking street and not allowed housing or shelter. Hi, ma'am. I'm a lactating woman <gasps> breastfeeding my son. Here's breast milk. They're Ew. throwing me in the street, denying me shelter in this country. Wow. Uh, being being blatantly denied Girl. shelter, being blatantly denied services, Somebody whoop her ass. and being literally given the ultimatum, we're going to rape you or you're going to do X, Y, and Z. And then even when you do X, Y, and Z, they still rape you and then throw you back outside for the next person to Good do that idea. to you. United States of America, everyone. 2024. Today's July 18th, 2024. Every single thing that I've documented has been real. I don't lie about any of the things that I've gone through. <laughs> Xavier and I, you know, try to pass the time by making whatever we can creatively. All of my photo shoots from a GoPro solo production, those were none of those were created with a budget. Those were created from a space of literal desperation, sitting out in the street, begging people for assistance, being ignored by the masses. Ignored by the masses. Five years ongoing five years and every single time they assist us they promise us that this is the, that this is it that this is the last time we'll go through this and then it's just a matter of time before they just throw us back out into the street and then they say that it's because they want us to share what we know about what's been going on that's not true that if is we not don't true. share what we know about I'm what's fine. going on we don't receive any assistance if we do share what we know about what's going on we receive minimal assistance so, is there really even a choice? I try so hard, you guys, to remain positive at all times. We have been outside since Tuesday, July 9th, and I spent my entire pregnancy. Let me be clear with you. There was not a single day, not one day, not one night that we received housing during my pregnancy. Hey, but you know what was even better? You know how many people offered to pay for y'all to stay at a hotel or motel? Most of them were actually pretty decent hotels, Heather. Especially around the holidays. You know how many times people had offered to pay that for you and you denied it? So, I don't... Just shut up. Stop complaining and bitching. Like, it was there. The help was there. I mean, what do you... I mean, it was all your choice. The, the help, 311 was there all along. The reason why they magically helped whenever you had Weston was because you magically decided that you wanted to fucking get the help. You didn't even want to be in a hotel that someone else paid for. That is so weird to me. Like, you have to be really effed up in the head or I don't even, I think you would have to honestly be on drugs to not feel that weather. I don't think they had enough heat the blow dryer, I don't care. I know people go out camping and they do all that shit. But for someone who's not used to it, you you have to warm your body up in another different way. And usually it's drugs or alcohol. That's my opinion only. I don't care what... I don't care. That's my fucking opinion. And here they are. And Xavier's already fudged up, man. Dang. Heather probably done hit the duster. She probably back three, bought three packs already. I protected my unborn baby with my body. I was attacked. I was kicked by a man while sleeping. A man, a grown black man, Why the attacked guy be black? me and kicked me multiple times <laughs> while I was sleeping. A stranger, for no reason, unprovoked. I fell asleep on the train and I woke up to a woman punching me in my head, unprovoked, oh, shit, a stranger. Really? That'd All be of this mean. has been reported to law enforcement. I was jumped and bludgeoned by a man Look at a it. Hispanic Look at man beat up with his fists kicked while I laid on the ground blocking my head and face and then bludgeoned over the head with a tire iron and treated impatient and they're using that impatient hospitalization in court against me today to say that I have some sort of disorder there's no disorder I have no disorder the disorder I have is that I won't sit around being attacked, bludgeoned, raped. Hey, why don't you... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know this is going to hurt some fifis out there, but um, some of this is true. So, you... Shit will happen, obviously, and it's not our fucking fault. Sometimes we're in a bad place, wrong time, whatever. 
But there's times where it's like, Heather, if you're going to live in the lifestyle of drugs and the SEX industry and all this kinky, bad shit, if you're going to be a rat, you're going to attract people like that. You're going to attract people who want to whoop the fucking shit out of you, whether it's a male or a female, and they will do so. And I'm not saying that's right, but I also don't think that it's right for you To be in the sex industry and to hurt other people for your own ways. And I I don't think you should scam people. And I don't think that you should be a snitch. You're a bitch. Like, I don't... I think that's not only karma, but it's consequences. I mean, surround yourself in better ways. Maybe next time don't set up your tent by someone who you're going to talk shit about, because that's probably what happened to you. You were probably talking shit about that girl, and she probably had enough and just wanted to square your ass in real quick. Beaten, robbed, and abused silently. If that's a disorder, then I guess that's what I've got. Parent capacity? My parent capacity is I'm the best fucking mother in existence ever. Wow. I would literally volunteer one of my arms or legs to be there for my children. I don't care. Okay, this is what bothers me. I've seen a, this thing where it's like, I know I've talked about it on here before, where it's like, oh, I would kill for my child, you know, or I would die for my child, which I would. Heather would just give a limb, I guess. <laughs> Most people are, say that, and Heather's like, I'll give an arm. I'll give one of my, can I give you a pinky toe? <laughs> But what would you do? Like, would you get sober for your kids if you if you love your kids so much? I mean? No, shut up. If you love your kids so much, Heather, wouldn't you get sober? If you love your kids so much, wouldn't you go and see if you needed help? As much as I hate medication, if someone said you cannot be around your kids unless you take this medication, I would take the medication. And then if I'm just crazy after I take the medication, people gonna have, my kids are going to have to let me know so I can stop it. But point, I'm just saying, like, we've literally seen a text where Heather was telling her mom she would literally, she would rather stay on the streets than to go to the hospital and take medicine if she, like, needed help like that. So, no, you're not the best mother ever. You're not the best mother ever. You won't do anything for your kids. That's so crazy to me. I still think it's kind of funny how she offered her limb, but not her life. (laughs) You won't even get a job for your kids. You won't do nothing for your kids. Stop saying that. That makes me so mad. I hate it whenever people say, I love them. I love them. No, you don't. That's not how you show love. That's not love at all. You may be a narcissist, like a truly definition of a narcissist, because they don't really actually love their kids. They just love what their kids can do for them. Kind of like what you're doing with your baby right now. Do you really honestly love that baby, or do you love the fact that he got you some sponsors and some money and, you know, housing for a little bit, and you think he's, you know, your ticket for the next? Anyone says, I, I am an amazing mother. Always have been, always will be. I told one of the workers, I got my certification in babysitting and CPR when I was 12 years old. 12 years old through the Courts Plus in Elmhurst, Illinois. You guys know where Elmhurst is at? Courts Plus. They have like racquetball, tennis rackets indoor, a bunch of park district style activities. It's very expensive, very bougie. 12 years old. from middle income suburbia to third world country Jamaica with no notice overnight. I spent 11 months, one year in Jamaica and then I came back to the United States and I never was able to resume a normal existence as a child with my family unit. From that moment on, I was fending for myself in and out of the system. No criminal record to this day no criminal record make that one make sense no drug abuse uh, addictions I mean have I abused drugs before sure sure I have 
I've gotten drunk for two days in a row, you know, when I was like 21 or 22 years old. Name a college student that has not. I dare you. You can't. So I'm 37 now, you know, and I have four children to take care of. And it is nearly impossible for me to be the mother that I have the capacity to be from this space. And when we discuss laws in this country and human rights in this country, we all have a right to be a parent to our children. All of us do. And there are services called Norman services. And prior to them being called Norman services, they were called something else. These, these are, there's a bill that's clearly outlined in the, in the United States Constitution that discusses parents cannot be separated from their families or children for issues relating to poverty, i.e. no shelter, no food, no clothing. There are services created to provide those things. The only reason why a child legally can be taken from the parent in this country is if that parent does not have the capacity to take care of their child. If you can say, okay, here I'm giving you everything you need, you have a house, you have food, you have clothes, here's your kid, and then you observe and that parent can't engage for some socio, you know, maybe maybe it's a, an issue of mental or maybe it's an issue of um, psychological or maybe it's an issue of, um, you know, physical amputations or something like that. Those would be the only reasons legally in this country, legally, constitutionally, and civilly, that exist to separate mom from child or dad from child. So simple, simple issues in, you know, socioeconomic status or housing displacement or issues, you know, obtaining food or clothing, those are not issues to take a child from a parent. Parents have rights. I have rights. It's been five months and every single service that has been recommended I have completed. Every single one with no issue. I have not done anything wrong. I have, I have followed every rule that they have set for us. I have done everything that they have asked for us. Why would they now after five months be saying that we cannot or we don't have a, a pass for you to get on the train after five months. So why would they now after five months be saying, oh, we promised you shelter for six months until a townhouse or apartment is provided to your family. Xavier and I watched while all the other people in our, in our immediate area of the shelter received their apartments. Is it true that we witnessed a whole bunch of Is it true that we witnessed a whole bunch of single people receive apartments through the shelter that we were just in uh, Tremont 100 East Chestnut? Uh, yeah, but I told you that there was incentive to help people who were like schizophrenic or on medication. None of them are. And I told you how equitable makes their money. I didn't ask you that. I asked you, did we or did we not witness all of our neighbors receive apartments? Mental health person. They are not. Stop. He, if he's telling the truth, stop. She likes to include Xavier, but he has to agree with everything she says. And sometimes it's hard for him to know when he's supposed to lie. And he's obviously fucked up right now, so he don't know when he don't really care. Did we or did we not? The deaf guy who you would always smoke cigarettes with, he has no mental health yeah, issues. He no, he did not. <laughs> the person, okay, but you're not a doctor. Did he? See, stop. Leave him alone. The dude was talking to himself. Maybe he does have mental issues. Stop. You're wrong. Everyone knows you're wrong. Let it be. Damn, everyone's tired of you. He received apartment. Yeah, I, I guess. But... You guess or yes, he did. Did we not? Yeah, but he, Okay, was, uh, so there's no yeah, but anything. Going on. Every other person. So do we. And I have four children. So if I have to sit here and watch while a bunch of random men are placed into homes, apartments, I don't shelters, think, don't know given rent paid for a year, utilities paid for a year, but I'm sitting here on the She's fucking sidewalk. Okay. 
make that make sense for me. Karma. And that person was an immigrant from from Africa. Oh. Hey, 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 now. South Africa. I'm pretty sure. Get the fuck it should be quiet. I was born here, in this country. I had my first job at 14 years old, paying on a W two. From 14 years old. Why am I outside on the sidewalk? So for the record again, you guys, Xavier was recommended to have his tooth abstracted. We do not have transportation. We are supposed to. It is court ordered, so we're waiting on that to be resolved. My attorney is on vacation this week, but she said that she would reach out to someone. Her attorney? Is this like a public defender she got? Um, regarding everything that's going on with my, my child, I wish that I could give you guys details of all of the hoops I've had to jump through, but I'm not being permitted to do so. Um, you guys already know the situation because I was live at the time of my labor and delivery. Um, so there are literally tens of thousands of people who are aware of what exactly happened, but I'm not allowed to talk about it on the internet. So if you'd like to DM me, I will, I would love to explain if you are someone who can advocate for me or a lawyer, obviously it's my human right to discuss my situation, especially with people who would be sponsors or someone who could help me, um, you know, receive legal assistance. I would love to give details to anyone who can help. I have done nothing wrong. I have done everything right, literally. And I'm not a perfect person. I make mistakes, but by the book. Xavier's like, I can't take this shit no more. I've got to go. Every single step I'm supposed to take, I have taken it. No, you haven't. I bet you um, The means of escalation, I've taken all of those. Internal affairs has been involved in this case. This entire situation has been ongoing for me and my life and my family since 2016. Um, we're in 2024 now. I did not become homeless. I was not forced out of my home and separated from my children until 2020. Um, so my kids lived with me in a full-time capacity from birth until 2020. I have no criminal record. I was blatantly inserted into federal operations, whatever that means, a number of times my CRM was robbed from me. And to be quite honest with you, I don't even think rich men exist anymore or women. I don't think they exist. I think that all of them were lured into by honeypots into. I'm trying to. Heather's um, just drawing her out. <laughs> I was trying to figure out where Xavier went. So I'm like looking at the shadows. <laughs> if I could see his like silhouette. But. I wonder if he stepped away because she was just annoying and or like to smoke a cigarette or something. Situations of probably something like uh, unethical sexual intercourse that someone was recording during those times. That's what they did what? to me. And then they, from the, from the girls or the boys, because there's a lot of gay guys that they have do this as well or had do this as well. They steal their CRMs, which are what their email Rolodexes of all of these people's contacts. And they begin either by legally attacking them. So they, they threaten to arrest them and then ask them for money and ex extort them. Or the bad guys get them. And that's even worse because then they start what they refer to as walking them like a dog. And if you watch in pop culture, there's a lot of rap music and hip hop music that talks about walking him like a dog. I have been listening to rap music probably too long than I should have. Today's rap. I, I really don't, I don't know who the fuck is out there nowadays. I have never, can somebody please tell me what artist, what song, anything, the title, give me something, can, does anyone know of a rap song or any song, fucking shit for that matter, that's talking about walking them like a dog? Make me feel That's stupid. what they mean. They began extorting these men 
until they ruin their lives, separate them from their families, and get them so mentally disturbed that a lot of these men begin being turned on it by this abuse. And that's up. what they call... Um, I cannot. This is inappropriate. Dominatrix no. or... Um, Unauthorized. No. Fin Dom. Uh, a lot of those fin dom, financial dominatrix, a lot. Thank you! Because those are the type of people that I think are fucking your... Those are the type of people who I really think sponsor her. I really do. And for her to just talk about that, it makes me wonder if I was right. Because usually I'm always right. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm hardly ever wrong. But seriously, I have thought about that because I'm like, there is no way, unless people just want to make her look like a fool, I bet you most of these people are just nasty, weird people. And for her to randomly just bring that fandom crap up, you know, it's so ironic, don't you think? Ooh, if I could sing, I want to be singing so many songs to you every day. Of those subcategories, these are normal men. They start out normal men, either single men or men with children and wives. And they, they make the mistake of being incentivized to go and see an escort or, uh, you know, a, a someone who charges for time. Ooh, and oh, well, that's, that's, okay, that's what we're talking, that, that, that's it. That's where he fucked up. That's what I'm saying. Like, whenever you bitch and complain about what happens to you, Heather, it's usually because you made a bad decision, and then you had a consequence, and sometimes those are bad consequences. If this motherfucker has a fucking wife and kids, or even if he's single and he wants to step out with the escort, he probably shouldn't play in that game. And guess what? He's gonna have consequences now. Sorry. And uh, some of them are not even formally labeled as escorts. Some of them they meet in bars or clubs. They bring them home. They get them fucked up. They engage in some sort of illicit sex that's embarrassing. Sometimes it's same gendered sex. They Ew. take photos. They take videos. Who the fuck would just be straight and go to a club or a bar and then be like, okay, all of a sudden let's, I'm gay. Like, what the heck? Why are we jumping in this? This is disgusting. This, I, I'm sorry. I need to get my thoughts together. I, isn't, it, isn't it weird? Like, isn't it? I mean, why would she, why would she know these things unless she was like, I don't know. It, this just makes me uncomfortable. This is really weird. I don't like it. And they take audio and then they begin to extort this person. It happens a lot in men who are CEOs, CFOs, operations men, presidents, um, founders, owners. Um, so a lot of the more powerful men become targets, men with money, gener um, uh, generational wealth, they become targets, and then they literally say that they are walking them like a dog because they will engage in these behaviors. Um, I've never... <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a song that's called Walk Them Like a Dog? When was this? 2020... All right, this is a. So I was like, yo, okay, somebody's sorry. fucking playing in the email because this is saying they rock nation all that. Like, this is a joke. See who the fuck this is. What he the was fuck like, yeah, Rihanna this? doing fashion week. Who she wants to perform at the after party. My phrases had kind of went viral and re liked it, but you know, I really wanted we would go live on Instagram. So one of my phrases had kind of went viral and re liked it, but you know, I really wasn't, my music really wasn't popping back then. We was just fucking around on the internet. I fucking swear. <laughs> Uh -uh. I started rapping in February of this year. Me and my friends had a podcast that we used to do on Facebook. And we was like, uh, we need to do an intro song so that when we do the podcast, the little song plays in the beginning. So out of everybody that had a verse, I my verse swear. hit the strongest. So people started coming to me like, damn, when you start rapping, I was like, shit, I didn't know. Walk em Like a Dog is a Florida <laughs> term. It could be used for um, different scenarios. If I'm hungry, I could be like, man, I'm so hungry, I'm gonna walk that Popeyes like a dog. I mean, it could be in terms of fighting. Man, I'm so tired of this nigga trying me after the club, I'm gonna walk that nigga like a dog. Or it could be in terms of, you know, women, men dealing in relationships, man. The girl keeps cheating on me, man. This girl be walking me like a dog, man. I'm tired of this. Growing up, I grow around a lot of girls. This is the motherfucker you listening to. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings, but I think we all kind of know the type of person that I am. Bitch. 
You fucking, you fucking, you, are you serious, bro? You did, you listening to this motherfucker and you want to talk about, I don't even know. This is scary. Like, did you just listen to this song and now you're talking about this? Because now I'm tripping. I'm in the South and I ain't never heard of it. And y'all can eat me up in the comments if you want. Not that way. Sorry, it came out the wrong way. But you know what I'm saying? Like, that's weird. I ain't never heard of it. And I see a song that's called Welcome Like a Dog. And this is a person that sings it or raps it. I'm sorry, I'm not being judgmental, I'm just saying, this isn't the type of uh, rapper, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm just, my rappers were different back in the day, you know. So far, this is the only song that has popped up, though. Y'all don't understand how much this is bothering me, because now I'm wondering, have I heard this phrase, walk like a dog? I mean, I've heard, like, I don't know, I'm tripping. <laughs> I've never Hello. heard Hello. I've never Boy, watched what you want? Heard this. Oh, I'm at the studio. What's up? Oh, my God. Stop. Oh, my God. Stop. 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 Would I expect any different, though? Did any of y'all expect any different? I mean, it... Ugh. Get off my page. I'm done. Because there's a lot of gay guys that they have do this as well, or had do this as well. They steal their CRMs, which are their email Rolodexes of all of these people's contacts. And they begin either by legally attacking them so they they threaten to arrest them and then ask them for money and ex extort them or the bad guys get them and that's even worse because then they start what they refer to as walking them like a dog and if you watch in pop culture there's a lot of rap music and hip-hop music that talks about walking him like a dog okay let me be very clear now that I am so confused and fucked up in the head, I don't know if I've heard this phrase before, but I feel like I have not heard it until Heather said it. Of course, that made me Google it. Only one song popped up, and I would, no offense, but that's not someone I would ever listen to. That's not the rap, I would never, that's, that's not my type of people. I feel like the the real rappers like really really like how dare you like i don't know but you know what it is what it is because it is this generation and this fucking generation fucking sucks people need to fucking do something this world fucking sucks so look at the fucking people that are in the entertainment business and the rap game like those are not rappers they ain't gangsters they ain't nothing in front like they are told what to write do you see, like, what I just saw, what, that, I would never be bumping that shit. I wouldn't be, never in the day, I would get my ass whooped if I did back in the day, but I would never have the desire to. I know everyone has their own opinions here, and that's fine, but I'm speaking, do not talk like this is a rap, like, this is a generation, and this is a term, and this is what it means, and I pull it up, and, and this is a confused-ass motherfucker who don't know who he, she is, and they're, they're walking, that's disgusting, and it's degrading, and guess what, it was just up on, what, 2020, y'all have weird people in y'all shit nowadays, like, yeah, I'm sorry, but it's weird, like, look who they serve. They serve the devil. And I'm sure that motherfucker does too. And that's, that shit's nasty. Talking about, don't put him in, don't put him in that shit. Don't put him in like he's a motherfucking rapper that made a difference. Or any of his lyrics mean anything at all. That's fucking a joke, bro. That's what they mean. Fuck you. You should be ashamed of yourself. They began extorting these men until they ruin their lives, separate They're them from their families, and get them so mentally disturbed that a lot of these men begin being turned on by this abuse. And that's what they call um, 
dominatrix or um, fin, fin dom, uh, a lot of those, fin dom, financial dominatrix, a lot of those subcategories, these are normal men. They start out normal men, either single men or men with children and wives, and they, they make the mistake of being incentivized to go and see an escort or, uh, you know, a, a someone who charges for time. And uh, some of them are not even formally labeled as escorts. Some of them they meet in bars or clubs. They bring them home. They get them fucked up. They engage in some sort of illicit sex that's embarrassing. Sometimes it's same gendered sex. They take photos, they take video, and they take audio. And then they begin to extort this person. It happens a lot in men who are CEOs, CFOs, operations men, presidents, um, founders, owners. Um, so a lot of the more powerful men become targets, men with money, gener um, uh, generational wealth, they become targets, and then they literally say that they are walking them like a dog because they will engage in these behaviors. Um, I've never done that. Never have I ever done that. Any time that I took a date or went in to angel someone, as they refer to it, if you know, you know. Um, and protect someone, they send me to protect people. Uh, they don't send me to hurt people. My life path is in 11 too. So when I'm killing something, it means that there's something bad that's coming to a stop. Um, at the end of the day, you guys, I want to be with my children. And while all of this deceitfulness and abuse really pulls at my heartstrings and it matters to me, it's, it doesn't matter to me if it, if it has to matter at the expense of my children. I should be in my home with my children, not out here saving a bunch of... I can't even call them bad people because we all make mistakes. The way that they do it, anyone could, could fall victim to this. I mean, anyone. Like, literally, they'll find a man who has the most wholesome... I, I watch them do it to a Muslim man. A Muslim man who would be in temple five times a day, never had a never had a taste of alcohol, never smoked a drug, never popped a pill. I watched them do it to this man. I watched them with my own eyes. I watched them. He had a special needs son and a wife. And I watched them. Oh, you work really hard. You own a business. Things are rough for you at home come on, just hang out with us a little bit. And the man said no, and he said no, and they condition him, and they groom him, and they really lay into him. And if you don't have some solid support, some solid love Jesus to have your back on these things, you fall victim to them. You can't help yourself. It's really rough out here. And I watched them do this to this man, and... After saying no, it's a beautiful woman, plastic surgery, big butt, big boobs, smells good, so sweet and kind. She's, oh, hi, yeah, oh my God. You know, playing Gosh. coy. And sooner or later, the man falls victim. And he breaks down and says, okay, I'll go to dinner with you. Well, he should say no. And dinner becomes a drink, up. even though he's never drank alcohol before. And yeah, a few months later, a drink becomes a blunt. And a few months later, a drink and a blunt become everyday drinking and smoking weed. And a year later, the Smoke man is taking okay. ecstasy pills in the dance club Whoa, with a special needs child at home and a wife at home, working full time, missing sleep three, four nights. And I saw this happen to not just one person, not just two people, a lot of people, you guys, a lot, hundreds that I personally have witnessed, if not thousands. Oh my gosh, Heather. And I only have two eyes. She only has two eyes and she's seen hundreds of people. That She has seen a lot. She's like the most seen person on, the, on this fucking planet earth you've seen a lot you, you kept this quiet how dare you so these guys are in the club and it, it benefits everyone in the industry because the club owners they need to sell money they need to sell bottles did she just say they need to sell money girl stop i caught it so they need these people in the club they need these people popping bottles. They need to encourage and engage in their partying. A lot of people, you guys. A lot. Hundreds. That I... I just don't understand, though. I'm sorry. I'm just still... These are... These people make these choices. 
Just like you made these choices to do things and now you want to turn around and say, oh, no, I was, no, 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 no. It's too late. It's too late. You done fucked up. Like, you put yourself in that situation and shit happened because you were doing a lot of bad shit and you weren't supposed to be doing that. It's just consequences. It is what it is. I personally have witnessed, if not thousands, and I only have two eyes. So these guys are in the club and it, it benefits everyone in the industry because the club owners, they need to sell money. They need to sell bottles. They need so they money. need these people in the club. They need these people popping bottles. They need to encourage and engage in their partying. Um, there is a such thing as responsible partying, I think. Um, but it's very difficult balance when you have a lot of pressure from one side or the other. Um, to find a happy medium is incredibly difficult. Why do I continue to be targeted? I don't know. I can tell you for a fact that with de with or without the use of deep fake, deep fake technology, there is AI that exists that can filter content that is malicious in nature. We are at the space in 2024. We are at the space in 2024 where our artificial intelligence has the ability to sense malice intention. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Yes. So if there is harassment <laughs> that is continuing, it is on purpose and intentional. Why would that be? I don't know. I don't know. I have firsthand witnessed and learned about filtering software that exists, artificial intelligence that can sense intention. That's where we're at in 2024. That's where the self-driving car generative artificial intelligence, automated artificial intelligence, artificial narrow intelligence. It all exists. They're ju it's all existed for probably 30 years. They're just increasing their data sets year after year. They're refining their skills. The more data they get, the more data sets they receive, the better refinement on skill. So I want to go home I want to be with my children. I'm fucking tired of this shit. How, how, how is this ethical, moral, legal, ethical, moral, or legal, or any of that? It's not. I have to go potty. I have to dump my breast milk into the street because I don't have any storage system to keep it cold so that my son can drink it. You know what, you know the benefits of breast milk? Do you know that our bodies, our bodies as mothers, when we're pregnant with our children, produce. But not everybody is the same and not every person should nurse or breastfeed or pump and give that milk to the baby, just saying. This breast milk that is significant because it is customized to the DNA and RNA of our little ones. It is exactly what they need in every way. Better than formula, better than someone else's breast milk. The breast milk that mom produces for child we get it, dum -dum. is made by God for that child. For five months, I have pumped my breast milk put it into a refrigerator at the shelter in my bedroom, carried it in a refrigerated bag on the train to Maywood, Illinois, to give it to my son so that he can have a week worth of breast milk. In my visits, I feed him from my breast, and then he has all of the breast milk in individual bags to drink in between visits. This is the first week in his life in five months <gasps> that I have not been able oh. to store breast milk for him. The first week. First week. So we've got all of these successful men and women who engage in these illicit behaviors. They start out being very wholesome men, very innocent, very pure, and then they are taken advantage of. Now, who is the one taking advantage? I mean, look what's going on. Heather. You people, <laughs> you rich people, whether through ignorance or privilege or blatant, you know, map. Which are we? The other day we were poor. Now we're rich. 
I wish I woke up rich. I mean, I'm rich in many other different ways. I'm I'm rich in my blessings. Alice have ignored the fact that there's an entire other side of America who is suffering, who don't have enough money for clothing, who have to deal with systemic intervention that's unfair and inhumane at times. And every one of you who's doing business has been so focused on your next sale, I get it, I've been there, that you have not had a moment to realize the pain and suffering that other people are going through. Well, guess what? Those people feel resentful. So those people are in combination with dirty, crooked cops or politicians working together to set you all up so that they can drain you of your assets. Period. Plain and simple. That is what's going on. That's what's going on today. That's what was going on 10 years ago. That is what's going on. In addition to getting it from those people, they are getting it from other places. They are working. This is genuine work. Building lines of credit. Working. They're not, you know, these these criminals are not sitting around the hood. They're sitting in penthouses, shared workspaces, hotel lobbies, and they are building lines of credit. Why? So that they can get business loans. Why? So that they can cash out on those business loans legally. Legally. Do you hear me? Legally. It's legal. Now everyone's pissed off because all of our money is fucked. The, the, the dollar is losing its complete value, whether you believe it is or not. And with, with the internet and connections, everyone has the capacity to be wealthy unless you are being walked like a dog. Why do I have all this knowledge and experience but I can't make a single fucking dollar. No one finds that weird. No one thinks, oh wow, Heather knows how to build lines of credit. She knows how to engage in all of this. Why doesn't she just go inside? Why would she be sitting outside? It's a good question, right? So clearly, clearly someone or something or some multiple people are preventing me from stabilizing my life. I applied for EIN for my business Go Pro Solo in 2018. 2018 I applied for an EIN why am I sitting outside I have no idea I I wish you could tell me I wish I worked in upscale entertainment luxury entertainment from 2017 to 2019 2017 to 2019 I never ever 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 sold a service in my life ever never not once what what everything i did was by the book 100 percent by the book someone you a lot of you guys know carlos he he was the manager oh at shay as don't. well as uh concrete cowboy um he called me one night and he said i had a platform and i had a platform on many vids I was selling sexy content. That was how I was creating the illusion of celebrity so that I could charge more for dates. So I had a platform with content, all solo. I never did pornography in my life, all solo sexy content. Um, And mind you, all of this is when my children live in my home. So I I had like a a producing (laughs) space and then I had my mothering space. My children lived with me full time. They never were a part of any of this. I fucking, you okay. He called me one night and he asked me for my logins. And I said, no, I'm not going to give you my logins. And he said, I will give you my entire Rolodex for the entire city of Chicago. What? If you give me free access to your many vids. And I said, okay. Bitch, you're... And I gave him access. I gave him a guest pass. And he gave me, he shared with me his entire Rolodex. This man had more connections. I myself had many connections, but my connections were coming from people who were outside of the nightlife. My connections were coming from, you know, people who were CEOs, CFOs, CEOs, presidents, vice presidents of banks, Chase Bank, PNC Bank, Northern Trust Bank, uh, Wind Trust Bank, hospitals, 
uh, other types of executives. Just stop talking. My Rolodex begins to be compromised after it's combined with his Rolodex. So we have my Rolodex. How can I help you, sir? You okay? Not really. No, not really. I'm a lactating mother. Oh. I have four children. Wow. And I've been... <laughs> Who the fuck introduces himself as a lactating mother? Ew, you're disgusting. Like, you make everything good bad. And this poor guy is trying to help you. And you're just... I'm scared to see. You're, hopefully he'll just run away. Calling for shelter services for my entire pregnancy. They came in and offered us shelter for four months. Told us that we would be able to receive a house or an apartment within six months. And then just kicked us out June 9th with, I'm sorry, July 9th with nowhere else to go. So I'm really not okay. Um, if there's any resolution that you know of in this country, I'm a, I'm a citizen. Not that I think non-citizens should be treated this way. I don't think anyone should be treated this way, but I am a citizen. I do have a college education. Uh, I am employable. I have a large following on social media, so I can do influencer work. There's really nothing that I can't do. Uh, Bitch, well you don't do not a damn motherfucking thing but sit there on your ass and fucking complain. I'm an articulate. I just want to get home to my kids, and the, the fastest way to do so is by earning in, you know, an, a, an honest employment, an honest living, and, and making money and getting an apartment. Or She's smiling because she won't do that. She won't make an honest living. She won't make no honest money. That's why she's smiling. Her vein about to pop out her damn neck because she lies so damn much. Um, so if there's anything you can do, we pretty much sleep here for the past several days. If there's anything you can think of, any resources you come across, we would be happy to, to receive those. My name is Heather Gillespie. Well, that was kind of nice. Right, nice. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you as well. I appreciate it. So, the guy so no, no, that's not it. So, as I was saying, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. My Rolodex and this other person's Rolodex combined. So, I have the daytime Rolodex, if you will. All of the people who are making money in the game from 9 to 5. That was my Rolodex. And I'm talking probably like 4,000 contacts. Of, of people making, you know, six figures. His Rolodex was probably triple that size. And it was a mix of people from the nine to five all around the world who come to party in Chicago, who goes to nightclubs and spends $4,000 on right a there? table. You know, those types of people. So those two Rolodexes were combined together. Okay. And they hacked my, my phone and my laptop, I had a MacBook at the time, and they password. stole every single one of those contacts. That's what you get. Every single one of them. Stolen. Fuck around and find I out. I could not make this shit up. So, following that, I got jumped and stabbed. So it's like, they were like, oh wow, Heather's doing a great job working legally, ethically, morally sound. Yeah. She's not taking advantage of these people the way that a lot of women do. She's giving them Bro, honest you service, you know, whether it you was like hosting are. a party at Cuvée. Go back to the I remember taking some of these men shit. who had never been to a bar or a nightclub in their life and having a group of like five beautiful women, you know, beautiful women. They smell good. They're nice. They're fun. You know, and myself and we all, you know, our hair is done. Our nails are done to the nine. See? And we're pulling up in, you know, like a, a tinted out suburban and this man has like never been out before in his life in Chicago and I'm, and I'm walking him into the club with this group of people and he's having the time of his life you know and then I'm making sure that everyone gets home and I'm going home and you that's it you know that's the type that of the relationships that I was building and I can't even reach out to those people for help because my Rolodex was stolen oh my god how do you go myself from a person with a 10 year plus healthcare healthcare career and there's no one there's not a single doctor that i know that i worked with that would speak poorly of me not one i have i have done i have gone above Go and beyond that, ab above and beyond in every way possible for these doctors every single there is not a single medical doctor that i worked for that would speak anything other than accolades with regards to my work ethic and my experience and the same for when i joined the workforce in the nightlife the same exact thing. I never did anyone bogus. I did everyone. Well, what do I mean when I say I never did anyone bogus? Some of the girls think that I did them bogus because when men would be fucked up, I would not let them take advantage of the situation. I would get the men sober, 
you know, yeah. get them into a hotel room by themselves. So you could jump in and you could be the savior and they could give you the money or you would just steal from them. Do you realize what you're telling us? You're pretty much accusing. You're talking about a guy who has never drank before, who has a wife and kids and is, uh, what does she say, a Muslim? I don't freaking know. But you're literally describing you being one of those little whores fucking taking advantage of people like that or get them in a cab going home to their families. So some of the less ethically and morally sound people in that industry do believe that I was not a team player, but that's not true at all. I always invited more people. Many, many times Dude, I offered what? when I had uh, clients who had a bankroll to spend, I asked them to go to the strip club. I don't want to go to the strip club. I don't give a fuck about naked women or men. I, I don't enjoy it. I don't want to be around it. I did that because I know those women need it. You know, I've always been a good person for the up, for the low, for the middle, for everyone involved. Every situation that I have been inserted into, I have done my best to operate from a space of morals, ethics, values, respect. So why am I here? Is that why? Is that, is that saying the good guy finishes last? Is that the truth? You're not the good guy, Because I dare bitch. you to You're show not... me one person who's been through what I've been through who's come out the other side as clean without a criminal record and without a list of people who want to murder them. I don't have enemies. <laughs> I do not have enemies. I'll repeat myself. I do I not have, have enemies. enemies there are ways of psychologically turning people against you, and that has happened with me. Like, for instance, if I witness someone doing something but I didn't tell on them, you know who begins applying pressure as they refer to it on that person and then they make me the fact that i was there and i witnessed it they make that like a threat that lingers over the person Lingers. So a certain amount of resentment is built, not because of anything i've done but because Lingers. of the threat of what could have been done by what was witnessed my name is heather gillespie and i don't deserve to be sitting outside on the sidewalk without shelter I am praying to God. Let's pray together, God. It's me, Heather, again. I'm praying for assistance. Please help. I have been left outside again. Um, you know that I have experience in every field that exists, that there is no job too large or too small, that if it pays and will help me support my family and my children, and it is not going to harm anyone, that I am willing to learn if I don't know, Why to engage if Stop. I do know. Stop looking at me. Please help me, God, because I don't deserve this. No one deserves this, but most praying. certainly I do not deserve oh my this. Not my, my body mind. is sore. I'm my infant country. needs his mother. No, they my don't. big kids need their mother. No, they don't. I've already had to miss out on You've a lot of parenting. I'm very grateful for the communication that I have with my children and that I've had this entire time. Game's over, Thank bitch. you for never letting too much time go by without them knowing how much I love them. Thank you for never letting me miss a holiday or a birthday with them. But I miss the rest of my family, and I haven't been able to have a holiday or birthday with my mom or dad or my extended family since 2020. Please, please bring me back to my children. Please resolve these issues. Please help me reunite with my babies and my family. Please put me back where I belong. Hey, I'm sorry to kind of like pause this little scene that's supposed to be very intimate, but it's really annoying whenever you're sitting here pretending that you're praying to him and you're not. You're talking and you're looking at us. Shut up. You're pissing me off. First of all, people, whenever you pray, they like to kind of thank him before anything, okay? But all I hear from you is, I want, I want, I want, can you, can you, can you, me, 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 I, 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 shut up. Why don't you thank God that you're still alive? If you really did go through all that stuff, why don't you start using those trials and tribulations? Why don't you learn from your past and your mistakes? Why don't you teach other people, help other people heal? But first, you have to heal yourself. And you need to understand, yes, cry, girl. You need to cry and let it out because I'm telling you the God's honest truth. You've got to get through this. Stop living in the past and fucking stand up, bro. Dust your shit off. Go inside a mental facility. Get your ass checked. And fucking get right. Like, I am so tired of it. Like, I really am. Like, yeah, sometimes it's so fucking funny. But it's 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 ridiculous. It's honestly sad. Ridiculous. And it gets to the point where it's just disturbing. Where a mother doesn't have not one out of four 
children. That is ridiculous. Like I'm, 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 I'm sorry, but that, it, it just is. It's sad. I, my two of my babies are staying the night with my mother tonight. I literally just left them, maybe not even an hour ago, and I'm already missing the f- shit out of them. It's way too quiet. I don't like it. I don't know how people could go fucking this long. This bitch, like days is way too long for me. Weeks, I couldn't imagine. I'm finding a way for them to come with me. A month? No. You're going on years. How is it possible? Unless you really are truly a narcissist. Because you're mentally fucked up, Heather. But I think most of that is drug induced. Because you know when to hold your own. You know when to shut the fuck up. You know when to start talking about theys and they coming after me and all this fucking paranoid ass shit. It comes at night. Everyone knows your fucking game. Well, most of us. The other ones are way... I, I can't... I, I ain't got time for it. You are very telling. Like I've always said, you will throw in a little bit of truth and a whole bunch of lies. You will over-exaggerate. And you play people and you are so calculated. Your whole person, your whole identity needs to be redefined. Like I wish I could push her inside of a church to a priest that I could like, I know and trust. And then she could come out whenever she's done. Like, I'm really not trying to laugh because I know there are a lot of people like these and this makes a lot of sense because whenever I see some old ass people on the streets, it's like that. It's so sad. How do they become homeless? This is how they become homeless. And they, and they, they like it like that. They get comfortable. They don't want to do anything else. Why? It sucks. You don't have a place to live and to lay your head, but at the same time, you don't have no bills to pay. No bills to pay. You ain't got to worry about money unless you want to eat or do drugs. And I will stand by it. They wanted to be in that tent. Please help us with transportation to visit my son, Weston, the three days a week that I'm permitted to do so. Please help me keep up the mental and physical stamina to continue pumping breast milk. Oh, my gosh. So that on those days that I'm there with him in my arms, I can feed him from my body. I know that that is good for him health-wise. Mentally, I know it's good for me. Please. That's why you care about it is you. Please fix it. Please let me know what they want to know so that I can tell them when they need to know. Please help me know when to stop telling them when it's time to be quiet, when it's time to share, when it's time to stop sharing. Please help me be safe out here in this highly vulnerable space. Please protect me from being raped anymore. Please protect me from being harmed, physically stabbed, bludgeoned, or beaten up anymore. Please be with my children while I'm apart from them. Thank you for the church who's allowing me to do all of these services in their in one of their basements. What? What services? Thank you for anyone who <laughs> has helped in the past and the sponsorship we've received in the past. Please bless all of these people's hearts who have helped me and put it in their hearts to continue to do so to find another safe space for me to live. Ooh, I don't like that. Did you really? Did you? I don't know if we could do that. Did you ask God to put it in their hearts to keep sponsoring and donating to you? No. No, no, no. That's bad. Okay. I know where she's coming from. I know where people would be coming from. I think everybody who has a relationship with God, I'm not going to say who's religious because that's, it's very obvious she does not know what in the world she's talking about, okay? It's funny and sad and messed up all at the same time. I don't like how she's pretending so much about him. Like, I would love if she actually wanted a real relationship with God and she went to church to grow closer to God. That's not why she's going. Just because people go to church doesn't make them a good person. Just because someone goes to church doesn't make them a good mom or dad automatically. It doesn't. That's not how it happens. And for you, you just prayed in front of everybody. And you showed us that you don't even know how to pray. And it's sad. Like, I'm like seriously sad. Because I've, I've taught, I've already taught my little girls how to pray. And you don't, you 
And one of the most things, you don't tell people when you're praying or when you're fasting or whenever you're doing anything for God because you're supposed to do it for Him. No one needs to know. You don't, you're not supposed to gloat about it. So you praying in front of other people, that's pretty much a no-no because you're doing it pretty much for clout. You're like, hey, look at me. I'm praying to God. No, you're not. You're pretending. And that's a, like, that's a slap in the face to a lot of people. And then you don't even thank Him. I didn't hear you thank Him that one time. Maybe I wasn't listening because I was trying not to. But you're really disgusting, Heather. You've got to learn how to pray and thank him. He's not going to put it in people's hearts to help you whenever you can't help yourself. Like, I can't, I can't even with you right now. This is not acceptable. Showers every day. You know, access to my children. A bed. Please help. I'm confused and I'm scared. Please help me with Xavier. I don't know what to do with him. He's refusing to have his tooth pulled even though it's infected. My children, Viviana, Lewis, Alexis, and Weston are my primary concern. They always have been and they always will be. Please guide me because I'm so lost. I, I don't know what they want from me. All I want is to be with my children. I 100% have the capacity to be a good parent. Please put that in their eyes, minds, and hearts as they make their next decisions on how to proceed and how to handle me. Please tell me clearly what they want so that I can give it to them. Amen.